Use the convolution theorem to solve the inverse Laplace transform of f of s. So what we're looking for is f of t here. And f of s is s squared over s squared plus 4 quantity squared. I can factor out the square here and put it all in, under one parenthesis. And then if I square something, that means I multiply by itself. Now, the inverse Laplace transform of s over s squared plus 4 is cosine of 2t. So this is just the convolution of cosine 2t with cosine 2t. Now using the integral formula, we have the integral from 0 to t, cosine 2u times cosine of 2 times t minus u du. I'm going to multiply by 1 half and 2. I could do that because 1 half times 2 is 1, and I'm not changing the value of this. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to use this fact that 2 cosine a times cosine b is the same thing as cosine of a plus b plus cosine of a minus b. So for us, 2u is going to be a, and then 2 times t minus u is b. So when I add these, the 2u's go away, and I'm left with 2t. And when I subtract these, I have uh, 2u minus negative 2u, which is 4u, and then a negative 2t. Now I can um, find the antiderivative. So this one I just did um, quickly because, well, cosine 2t, 2 cosine 2t, this is a constant. And the reason is because it doesn't depend on u. So this is a constant times cosine 4u minus 2t. So the only thing you're really taking the antiderivative of is cosine 4u minus 2t, which the antiderivative of cosine is sine. And then the chain rule says divide by 4. Plug in t, plug in 0 to get to this expression. And now this simplifies to 1 half times a quantity cosine 2t times t plus sine 2t all over 2.